Well, 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 um, isn't this a surprise? <laughs> I guess if we realized that the uh, Sephiroth EX banner was brought out and the Roxas EX banner was immediately brought out after, we could just start to get some clues that they are really trying to rush us up. But if they were subtle clues, this is a very extremely obvious right in our face one. If they want us to catch up to the Japanese version of the game immediately, like if they keep this up, maybe within a couple of months. Um, yeah, another set of VIP quests is released within the same month, which completely breaks all the trends that they set for us so far. Um, I suppose if you're a VIP player, this is like a nice early boost of power for you, if you can justify spending the money. I don't know if you guys have the budget. Um, you know, if you budget for this game and you say, okay, I'm going to spend one or two VIP purchases a month, this could kind of be good and bad for you in that you now have to make a choice whether you want to buy VIP again, knowing that they could be really rushing them out. So, you know, your monthly expenditure on this game could go up. But if you don't mind the cost, then I guess it's additional power coming to you a bit earlier. So, congrats, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of extra content this week. Obviously, it's the raid week, so I've been farming my little butt off for the last couple hours while I do some assignments. Oof, down to 55th. And uh, I just polished off the weekly gem quest, which makes it seem like over the next few weeks, we might be getting a regular quest for, I guess, a power, speed, and magic gem, which is pretty nice. Um, so let's just go do, try and do this one real quick. I'll show you the strategy that I used to take it out. Uh, no, I won't. I'll get some SP first. One sec. Okay, so let me show you what I did. Um, so there are tons of enemies in this area that are all level 999. Um, the good thing is that you don't have to fight every single one of them, though. Um, this is basically the setup that I took in. So... Uh, I'm using the Counterpoint Keyblade with my Namine at the end. The only reason I'm using Counterpoint, the only reason, is because of Namine back here. And she's going to copy our good friend Sephiroth the X, as you guys should know by now. It's a ludicrously powerful metal, and you can basically use Roxas EX, if not for the fact that it's a power type enemy. So Sephiroth is going to work here. If Shion was out already, you'd be using her, but um, Sephiroth does just fine, as you'll see in a second. Um, I was actually trying Sora EX before because of the attribute bonus, but unfortunately, um, even though it has the best attribute, it still isn't as powerful as Sephiroth, so <laughs> I'll show you what I did. Um, basically, all I'm doing is, like, 0.2 Kairi is an obvious staple on no matter what keyblade you're going to use. Um, Maleficent Dragon is there if you have either Maleficent Dragon, T-Fern Aerith, um, HD Ventus, or HD Wisdom Form Sora. All of those would actually be better choices because you don't have to worry about your HP afterwards. Um, and then we need to have some sort of defense. Uh, so I've got uh, HPO here with extra attack, and I've got a copycat medal to copy it. If you don't have one of these three copycat medals, um, but you have like a Namine or a Mercy Pulled Shion, um, you could go in front and have HPO be behind. Whatever you need to do to basically guarantee that you have plus three um, defense. And yeah, lastly, Namine at the back with attack boost 4 max, fully guilted to copy our Sephiroth there. Let's go. Um, so again, there are tons of enemies right in the front here, but what we can do is just go around up here and skip the first two. Yeah, Poison Archers are pretty much the bane of our existence, so we're going to avoid them. We're going to use our defense down metal straight away. Um, we're going to get back to full health with Kairi. You'll notice that I've got Kairi behind the um, uh, Maleficent Dragon there, just because she um, obviously lowers my HP and then I can bring it right back. Uh, I've got the defensive medals here, but I actually don't need to use them. I can pretty much just tap and then use Naminate to copy Sephiroth and do a ton of damage, and then use Sephiroth himself. Attack with 4 max, chop chop, and there we go. <laughs> so in two attacks, we did uh, easily over a million damage with the two attacks combined. Uh, we're going to go back on here. The reason I didn't use those defensive medals is, be is because we have to be very, very careful of our SP management. Okay, so... The Poison Archer is there, and I'm basically going to activate his attack. I'm only going to do this because I can one-turn all the enemies. If you aren't able to one-turn them, obviously you don't want to do that. You want to... Well, I'll show you. Okay, so again, I can take out every single enemy here. Bang. Those guys all fall over, and then the Copter Fleet itself falls over and dies with Sephiroth. Um, I want to do some more testing, but... The problem is... Well, I'll show you in a second. I'll show you. Because it's, it's much more prevalent against these enemies here. So I'm going to go back here now, get back up to full SP. If you have like a gauge restoring metal, you don't have to do this. And you have to be less careful. But um, for me, with defense boost 2 on my HPO, 
um, I have to be more careful because I don't have uh, SP1 or SP0, meaning that it does, <laughs> you have to be very, very careful. Okay, here we go. So, just like in the Hades Cup, ideally you want to take out that archer before he poisons you. I actually did it by mistake before, where I went in, I used the dragon first, which I kind of didn't want to do, because now when I use Kyrie, he's definitely going to poison me. Here's the thing though, I was actually able to survive before, um, but I don't quite know the conditions needed to actually survive. So this time we are going to activate all our defense boosting medals, so HPO twice and then the copycat medal. Again, if you don't have this particular copycat medal, you could do it in reverse, you could do copy medal um, like let's say Namine or Shion, and then HPO, HPO, or Tigger, Pooh, Piglet, whatever you need. Okay, let's see how much damage our Namine does now. So she's easily going to take out the archers on their own. Now here's where the RNG, RNG comes into play. Um, I'm going to activate my Nova here. Do about 100,000 damage. He's going to retaliate. I think I need to double def Okay, I definitely needed defense boost to go off there, and I also needed to not be paralyzed. So that didn't go quite to plan, because I'm going to be revived by second chance, and then immediately felt again. This is what I did before, but I think defense boost activated like every single time it possibly could have, and it let me survive that turn. <coughs> not just survive that turn, but use Sephiroth the X as well. So in that first turn, I was able to take out um, the second little stabby guy, <laughs> whatever his name is. Let me, let me get back in there and I'll show you. Okay, let's try this again. So, I'm going to repeat the strategy I used last time, which is actually making a mistake, and see if it works out for me. Okay, defense boost went off there, which is exactly what we wanted to. Um, now we're going to attack this guy here with the lava swords, whatever you want to call them, the magma swords, um, because we don't want to... I fucked up and didn't get the SP chest. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Okay, uh, if it doesn't work this time, I guess you can just take my word for it that it actually does work. Defense boost. Okay, no defense boost. I could be screwed. Um, bang. One. Two. Three. I'm going to try like going Ultra Turtle for a next setup that maybe, maybe that'll help you guys out some more. Chop. Lovely, ridiculous amount of damage. Let's just see if Sephiroth will... He won't quite do it on his own, but this guy will be really, really weak. Bang. Okay. So he's got 8 bars of health left now, he's going to retaliate. He's going to be hit by poison, he's going to actually retaliate during his actual turn. And then... Oh wow, okay cool. Second chance didn't go off. Okay, if second chance had gone off then, I would have lived. Wow, that's ridiculous. They had like a... <laughs> that's like a 90% chance of actually going off after all my um... After all my skill plus perks. But if it had gone off then, I would have lived. 0.2 Kari back up to full health. Had to be really careful with my gauges, because I only had like... 4 or 5 left, I think. Um, but basically one 0.2 Kyrie and um, Sephiroth, Sephiroth attack him as well um, would have been more than enough to finish him off. So it's possible that way. Let me make a quick, really defensive setup and see if see if that'll work for you guys instead. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to experiment with this new setup here. Um, exactly the same, except I put Kyrie up the front and put a defensive medal instead of Maleficent, uh, Dragon Maleficent. Um, I've got Pluto B, but obviously this was a high score challenge medal from quite a while ago. I'd suggest replacing it with um, the Winnie the Pooh um, medals. I actually didn't get extra attack on those ones. I could not for the life of me farm a Pooh Bear medal to save my life. So I'm going to try the same setup here and uh, see if without the general defense down debuffs, if our good friend Sephiroth is still enough to take out all the enemies. Um, if no one in your party is sharing one of these, which is kind of fair enough given how friggin' rare it was, um, don't be afraid to like party hop a bit, guys. If you need to switch out, for a little while and say to your party, look guys, um, I'm not leaving permanently, I'm just going to go look for another party with Sephiroth the X. Can you keep, wow, Jesus Christ, can you keep this spot open for me? I'm sure most people would understand. Um, there we go, wow, okay, so that was enough to take out the first mob. I wonder if it's going to be enough to take out the second mob. Let's find out. Oof, it's got a lot more HP, so maybe not. Okay, so we may need some defense here, but let's experiment anyway. Chop, chop. You know what? Let's put up just one layer of defense. I'm hoping that the Sephiroth's going to be able to take out um, at least the two other enemies. Okay, there they go. So they're completely dead. Here's our man. Here he comes. 20 bars of HP to take out. Can he do it? You better believe it, folks. You better believe it. Okay, so this is why I preach copy medals, copy medals, copy medals. Because if I'd mercy pulled for a different medal for eight, like ages ago, like 
had on, let's say, Dark Reiki, for example, at the time that they came out, you know, they were relatively on the same power scale. They were as hard to get as each other. Um, now, though, this is still relevant. This is what I'm basing my entire Keyblade around to this metal right here. So when I say to you guys, look, Xion EX is a really powerful metal. You should definitely consider going for her. I'm not just blowing smoke. <laughs> because you can put that on the back of Dark Knight, You can put that on the back of Stroke of Midnight. And do exactly what I'm doing right now. In fact, uh, I'm pretty sure this metal only has a 2.6 multiplier. That slot right now. So if you've got a Xion HD, um, fully gilted, fully chipped and dialed, sitting on, um, count, uh, sitting on like a Stroke of Midnight slot with a, f a few gems in it to get it to like 2.9. Or Dark Gnaw, perhaps, to get it to 3.0. That's going to do so much damage. Now, the only problem with Dark Gnaw is that um, the SP gauge cost... Uh, sorry, the maximum amount of SP you have is, like, drastically lowered. So... Oh, shit. Hey, I'm an idiot. Okay, I forgot that Pluto B isn't all... <laughs> an area of effect metal. Oh, God. Why do you guys listen to me? I'm so stupid. Alright, anyway, we're going to plow on like it never happened. Um... We need to conserve some SP here, so let's do that. Alright, bam, so this should take out the Poison Archer. Bang. He's going to retaliate, but it's going to do absolutely nothing. And we're going to use Sephiroth again. We have to be pretty careful here with our SP management, but I'm betting... Ooh, look at that, it survived. So they're going to chop me right back. It's going to do absolutely nothing. Poison doesn't even kill me. They've got nothing on me. Okay, we're going to activate Kyrie there. I can't really see how much buffs I have because I'm currently off the screen, but... <laughs> um, the beautiful thing about Nominate is she costs zero. So we can just go up here, tap, 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 keep on tapping, just keep on tapping. <laughs> and uh, let's pop Nominate right now. The Archer there is definitely going to... Well, look at that. They're both dead. Okay. So Hyper Defensive is definitely a strategy, even if you had... Um, let me check which... Is it Al? Let me check. Okay, so that's my setup again. Um, if you don't have Pluto B, even if you're able to get extra attack on just Rabbit, um, the gauge cost is a little higher, but it's single target. So you could do a single target attack again on that um, dual Durandi with the Magma Hands because you basically have 100 hits on him. You should hopefully be able to take him out before the counter runs down. Um, yeah, I reckon a really, really defensive setup is going to work just wonders for you. Again, you guys will notice that I really didn't use any special attacks until I got to the final mob. And even when I did get to the final mob, I was only using Kyrie obviously to buff, this for damage, and these just to absorb hits. So the fact that it's a blue metal on a blue Keyblade is nice, but it's completely unnecessary. The damage that these metals do is negligible compared to the amount that this plus the Sephiroth I'm borrowing does. So you could easily run it on Stroke of Midnight, for example. Running exactly the same setup that I was doing before, but put uh, HD Xi on here. Um, again, fully Mickey and Broomed, fully Chipped and Dailed, whatever else, is going to do way more damage than I was just doing then. Um, so you potentially need even less luck than I had. Uh, but again, there's a the setup, so... Yeah, just defense is up, you'll be completely fine. Alrighty, um... Let's do something else. Alright guys, let me know what you think about the rapid rate that we are catching up to the Japanese version. Um, me personally, I feel like it's... Well, it's going to take a big source of our power away, but... At least we'll get the story mode content quicker, which is kind of what I'm really most interested in right now. Especially given the recent happenings in the Japanese version. I'd love to see the translations for those. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Are you excited to be catching up? Are you going to be sad that we won't have an advantage anymore? Whatever, let me know. And uh, yeah, if you need help, as always, jump onto the Discord channel, and I will see you next time. Alright guys, all the best. Bye.